Another look at the forecast, Kirk, it's been a pretty mild night tonight. You're right, it is. When we take a look at the radar satellite composite, although we do see a few clouds, uh, for the most part, we have been uh, cloud free and able to spot the, uh, the stars out there and stargazing. It's not terribly breezy and it's not terribly cold, but when we take a look at the view here on the Highmark West Virginia Skycam, we see 55 degrees, 77% relative humidity, the winds are calm, and the pressure, 30.02 inches is steady. When we take a look at our current temperatures, we have 63 down at Charleston, we're 55, 40 seven at Athens, 62 in Columbus and 59 at Wheeling. So uh, there is some cool down going on in the rural areas, but the metropolitan areas are hanging on to some relative warmth. Calm conditions for much of the Mid-Ohio Valley elsewhere. Breezes generally from the southeast, but not exclusively so. Uh, we're about six to seven degrees warmer than we were last night at this same time. So when we look at our radar echoes, there's nothing to report here. It's all quiet until we get down to Virginia and the Delmarva Peninsula. This low pressure system is migrating up the eastern seaboard, but we're watching the next line of showers coming down with a cold front from uh, the northwest. So in the meantime, the squeeze play here, we're looking at southerly flow that's going to come into the Great Lakes, and as a result, we're looking at clear and warm conditions, relatively warm. As we go through the overnight, it does look like as we start out Tuesday, there may be just a few clouds. As we get into the afternoon, a few more clouds returning, and it looks like a line's going to try to get organized just to the west of us, but will it hang together in time to actually come through? Or will we see the uh, flow from the south as we have another disturbance swirling and bringing, just kind of fending it off? So it's not quite certain if we'll see showers before Wednesday or not. We'll have to see how this race occurs. And then it looks like it'll weaken just a bit as we get towards Wednesday afternoon. Now our forecast suggests it'll be a low around 50 tonight, mostly clear conditions. Uh, we have the last quarter moon, in fact, less than half half a moon that'll be up less than half of the night. So it's not a bad night for uh, some stargazing. If you want to get out away from the city and take a look at some of the planets, they're out there. Tomorrow, 75 for the high, a stray shower possible. The chances have diminished a bit as the models have suggested that line may not sweep all the way through. We've lay, labeled that about 40% chance for uh, Tuesday evening. By the time we get to Wednesday, 83% chance. So the high falls from 75 through the 50s to 44. And then we have a rain event Friday into Saturday and cool down to, with temperatures below freezing for Sunday night, but not necessarily going to be a major step back to winter.